Uh, how y'all doing today? Um, so today is the third day of 10 days of vlogmas with Marquia. If you don't know, I'm Marquia. Thank you for being here, girl, boy, unicorn, other. How you doing? Make sure you subscribe down below because you're gonna love this video and you're gonna love me. You're gonna love the sub bays. We're amazing. So come join us. So y'all, today we are talking about my favorite albums of the decade. It's a lot because I'm such a music person. Like, I I just, I love music. So, I got different genres of music up here. Well, actually, it's only R&B, pop, hip-hop, and country. And, yes, I got country albums up here. I know, shocker to me, too. And I have, now, soundtracks from musicals and stuff like that. Yes, that's up here, too. Not every soundtrack is up here because... I had to be selective. This is about like five, maybe four up here. But I still included those because those were my all-time favorite. Like, yes, not my all-time favorite because actually, yeah, um, hmm, they, yeah, if, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If I had to, um, oh yeah, so if I say a novel name and I don't tell you who the person is, then y'all gonna have to figure that out because I wrote them all down without a person and I can't I can't remember all of them. But you know all of them about J. Cole, Tyler, or Trey or anything like that, I wouldn't remember. But you know everybody else, I'm not gonna remember. And this is a self-titled album. So here we go. These are not in order. I cannot put them in order. If I put them in order, that's no, never, no, I can't. I just can't. Like that's no, that's torture. Okay, so Forest Hill Drive, J. Cole. Y'all already know, well, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. Y'all already know, like, album was golden, okay? <laughs> no explanation needed. Actually, if I explain every one of these, it's gonna be long, so I'm gonna try not to, but come on. Y'all already know! Oh! Forest Hill Drive. Comment down below, what was your favorite, what's your favorite J. Cole song? If you are a fan of J. Cole. There's other artists I'm going to name that you might be a fan of. So drop your favorite songs down below. And drop, what are your albums of the year? I want to know, what are your favorite albums? Um, K.O.D., of course. Like, I'm, a lot of people didn't like K.O.D., which I don't understand. K.O.D. is amazing. I don't care what y'all say, that's amazing. 1989 by Todrick. Um, Todrick Taylor. Why Todrick comes straight? Todrick's name not even up here. Why is... Why did that come straight to my mind? 1989 by Taylor Swift. That was a golden album. Um, I think my favorite song, I don't have a favorite song for an album, but the one I play the most will probably be Wildest Dreams or Style or Blank Space. Or okay, it's just like the whole album. <laughs> Basically, now that I think about it, it's the whole album. Yeah, yeah. Um, Born Center by J. Cole, of course. Born Center was amazing. With Voluminati and all those songs. Oh my god, Born Center, especially the deluxe version. That was amazing. Cold World Sideline Story, amazing. Hands down, Mr. Nice Watch, all of the... Come on, man. Come. Don't try my baby in these streets. Y'all, J. Cole is fire, yo. I don't care. If you a J. Cole hater, what are you doing with your life? There's no reason to hate. He's fire. Um, For Your Eyes Only. Now, that song, uh, For Your Eyes Only, was super long. But it was a good song. It was a really good song. The whole album is amazing. I, I'm in love with that album. Revenge of the Dreamers 3. Now, I do got something to say about this. I am a fan of Dreamville, of course, J. Cole. But Revenge of the Dreamers 1 and 2, part 1 and part 2, I, I like, of course, I liked it, but part three, that hit on a different level. Like, part three, part three, that, yeah. Revenge of the Dreamers 3, yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Shea Butter Baby, R. Lennox, amazing. Like, and I do feel like she kind of, um, her award for Soul Train got taken away. I, I feel like that, I mean, because I wasn't such, I wasn't, I'm not a huge fan of, Summer Walker's music. I mean, like, I like her songs like Girls Need Love and Playing Games, but, like, I'm not a huge fan of that album. I don't even... Uh, what's the name of the album? Playing Games? No, what's the name of the... I don't even know the name of the album. Over It or something like that. But I'm just... 
I'm not a huge fan of the album, so I really was voting for Shea Baby. Shea Butter Baby. Shea Butter Baby. What's the word Shea Baby? What? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, um, Reputation, Taylor Swift, of course. Red, Taylor Swift, of course. That's when I became a fan of Taylor Swift. <coughs> when Red came out, I remember I was in after school. And in our after school, it was also a summer camp, and I was there over the summer. And this girl came in playing uh, I Knew You Were Trouble, and I was like, hmm, I like this. So, yeah, I became a fan. This to the whole album, it was amazing. The album about nothing, um, who is that by? It's going to trigger in my head. Who is that by? The album about nothing. That's Wale. That's Wale. Yep, that's Wale. Um, that album was amazing. If y'all ain't never listened to the album, what are y'all doing? If y'all ain't never listened to some of these albums, y'all might need to listen. Okay? Regardless if you don't like the person. Because, especially the self-titled albums. Yes. Okay? Yes. The Gifted. Wale. Yes. Paranormal. Um, Paramore. Well, I always say Paranormal. Paramore. Their self-titled album. Paramore. Yes. Amazing. Like, I know most people heard, you know, Ain't It Fun and was like, this is amazing because the song is a hit. But then you got to hear the other songs, like Beautiful Dreams, all those songs. Well, I think it's called Beautiful Dreams. I don't know, y'all. My mind is it's a lot of titles in my head right now. But, yes, that song. Ambition by Wale. Yeah, that's by Wale. Amazing. If you ain't, if y'all ain't never got into Wale's gig, you really need to get into it. Cause Wale is really good. Like he is a really good. I don't. He's a rapper. Yeah, he's a rapper. Yeah, he's a rapper. Wale is really good though. Wale, like Wale is really good. And then my okay, this is not an album, but the my boy freestyle him and J Cole did. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now I know some people be like only because J Cole. No, Wale killed his part too. I memorized that cold part. But my, while they kill his part, I memorized part of his part. <laughs> um, Lemonade by Beyonce. Of course, that album was amazing. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all know I had to have Beyonce up here. Come on. The Lion King, The Gift, Beyonce. Come on. Four, Beyonce. That's my favorite album by Beyonce. Four and Beyonce, the self-title. Those are my two favorite albums by her in, of all time. And Ty by Rihanna. Anti Ariana! Ah, woo! Anti Ariana! Anti Ariana! That, that, that. Oh! I love that album. That's my. Well, I wouldn't say that's my favorite. Well, I would say that's one of my favorite Rihanna albums. Yeah. Good Girl Gone Bad is my other favorite. Um, matter of fact, all her albums are actually my favorites. Like, I love. I'm a big fan of Rihanna. Um, Grateful by DJ Khaled. That was a good, that was a good album, okay? Like, that was a good, good album. Ooh, Good Kid, M-A-A-D, City. Kids of Lamar had B Don't Kill My Vibe, had Poetic Justice. Like, that album was amazing. That was a hit album. Like, it was a hit. Poetic Justice is one of my favorite songs by him. The album, like, sorry for my language, Damn, by, um, Kid Lamar was amazing. That album, that album right there. Especially that song he had, um, Loyalty with um Rihanna. Yeah, that album, that album right there. Humble DNA, that album. That, that yeah, yeah. Unapologetic, Rihanna, of course. Talk that talk, Rihanna, of course. Loud Rihanna, of course. Rated R. I don't even know. If Rated R is considered in this decade, I think it came out 2010, if I'm not mistaken. But Rated R, yes. Yes. Definitely. Rude Boy was on Rated R, if I'm not mistaken. Rude Boy was on Rated R. Yes. The Fame Monster Lady Gaga. Now, I know. I know. I know. Y'all like, what? You like Lady Gaga? Like, yes. Okay. I feel like I'm a little monster, okay? Like, I've listened to Lady Gaga since, what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, wait, I'm about to do the research real quick. One moment. Cue some music that ain't going into, um, that ain't going to be in here because I honestly, it's not, I'm not editing this. I was about to say it's not editing this. I am not editing this. Well, I don't know when I became a fan of Lady Gaga. 
Was it the fame? Was that when I became a fan? It was the fame. Wow. Okay. So I've been there since the first work. Or that was 2014. So yeah, I've been a monster for 2014. No. Dummy, I mean, that don't even make sense. It's the fame monster. Y'all, y'all see? No, no, it's not. It's the fame. Yep, it was the fame. Because I'm looking at the songs. Yep. Poker Face, Papa Roxy, Just Dance, Beautiful, Dirty Rich, Money, Honey. Yep, the fame. So, uh, why did I say 2014? That's 2008. So, I've been a fan of, wow. Wow, I've been a little monster since 2008. See, okay, wait, no. This got nothing to do with this, but can you be a stand of multiple people? Like, can you be a little monster, a barb, uh, um, in the beehive, a toddler, all at the same time? Like, can you do that? Because I feel like I am. Because, like, I've been fans of these people for so long. So, I feel like I am. Just saying. I'm a fan of other people. The Born This Way soundtrack by Lady Gaga. Yes. Um, 25 by Dale. 21 by Dale. I love y'all. If, if 19 was in this era, which 19 was in 2008, it wasn't in this decade, but 19 too. But um, y'all, I'm in love with Adele. I love Adele. I love Adele. Like, Adele's music is that type of music that gets you thinking about everything. Like, she just be having you in your feelings and you don't even know why. Like, you be listening to her music and you be like, I found someone like you. And you can be in a whole relationship. It's like, are you breaking up? Be like, Adele be having you in your feels. She have you thinking deep, okay? She have you thinking deep, all right? Hot Pink by Doja Cat. Now, I know that album just came out, but that is one of my favorite albums. When I first listened to it, I was like... I like you. Like, I like you. And while we on that, Amala. I think that's how you say it, but Amala by Doja Cat. That album was golden. I don't know why. She didn't really like her. She said she didn't really like that album or something like that. But that album was golden. Like, it came from Moo to Candy to... Well, Candy was on... Yeah, Candy was on the album. I think... Well, I had a deluxe version, so I don't know if it was on the regular album. But Candy to... Uh... Casual... Which, no, some of these songs, I don't know. Was it on the album? Because I'm also, like, I was also, um, I also listened to her songs that was, like, got deleted. I'll, well, well, never. I don't know if it was ever on Apple Music, but, like, you know, like, Freak and um, all those types of songs. I don't know. Was that just a YouTube thing? Because I remember that song, Freak. Freak was my favorite song. Freak like me. <laughs> yeah. That was my song. But anyway, yes. Like, Amala just hopped from here to here to here. No song sounded the same at all. No song sounded the same. That's what I loved about that album. Because no song sounded the same. And I was like, oh, okay. Speaking of that, Know It All by Up Girl. I don't know. Wait. Know It All. It's coming up in my head. Know it all. That's not why I'm thinking of the other album. Know it all is. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, I forgot to put this right here. Alicia Cara, Know It All. Yes. I did like that album. Scars Good Beautiful. Um, Four Pink Walls. Four Pink Walls is my favorite song. That song was very underrated. And uh, 17, Wild Things. I'm here. That was the most popular song. Scars Get Beautiful and I'm Here were the most pop pop popular songs and wild things. But um I think um Four Pink Walls were my was my my favorite song. Like favorite song on the album. I still listen to that album. After that album, I stopped listening to her. I mean, I just yeah, I I don't I didn't really care for her music anymore. But um Sweetener by Ariana Grande, of course, definitely. Um, Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Now those three, those are my three favorite albums by Ariana Grande. Now I understand, Yours Truly is a good album, a very great album, but that I I want that wasn't my favorite album because I it's some songs I didn't like, which on these albums I like every single song up there. So. Yeah, but yours truly was that was still a good album, so we can add that yours truly, and um, 
It was it. What was the other album called? I can see the cover in my head, but I can't think of the name. But anyway, I love Ariana Grande. I'm an Ariana Grande stan. I'm a Doja Cat stan. I'm a whole lot of stans, okay? I stand a lot of people. Y'all are in the, I ain't got no main people I stand, to be honest. Because, like, the main people I talk about that I stand are people who you would call underrated because they're not popular and big like Beyonce, Rihanna, like Lady Gaga, Adele, J. Cole, like Kendrick Lamar. Like they're not that popular. But they're popular to me. So <laughs> next up, my baby Trey Melvin Pluto album. Y'all, I don't care what nobody say. Pluto is amazing. And my cousin, she trifling. Because I was just talking to her the other day about which song was her favorite. She was like, numb because that's the only song I heard. Girl, you're disrespectful. First off, we heard dead people together. Don't do that. Yes, I'm coming for you. And secondly, Trey Melvin's Pluto was amazing. Now, Trey. Trey. I forgot this. I did, actually. But then I went back through the text messages that we were sending each other. And I real well, DMing each other. And I realized it was a song called Animal on that doggone um album that we didn't get. So what happened to Animal Train? I just, just want to know. Answer the question for me. Like, did you take it out? Why you take it out? I was ready to hear Animal. And Metaroid, I thought that was a song, but it was it was a um Dang, what's the name of that word? Uh, dang. See, all this time and dog on band class and music class and chorus, and I'm 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 forgetting my words. What is it? Uh, I can't remember. But it, like, it was just a, like a short song. Okay, it was an interlude. Would it be called an interlude? I think it would be called an interlude. Okay, so yeah, that y'all if y'all ain't heard that album, go check out um uh, my reaction to that album. <laughs> It was fired. Um, and I got mentioned on Twitter for my reaction to Mal by Drix himself. And then Trey saw it and told me how good the reaction was. So, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Okay, so Tajer. That's all I got is labeled Tajer, okay? Because I know I'm about to take five minutes on him. Let me get up and personal with y'all. How y'all doing? So... <laughs> Okay, so t all of Tyler's music is in this decade. If we get House Party 3, that'll be the last song, last album he posts. If, if we get it this month, that'll be the last album of the decade by him. So, that's crazy, y'all. The first album of the decade that was hit, well... Yeah, his first album of the decade was um, Somebody's Christmas. Which, I don't care what nobody say. I love that album. Even though, like, when you listen to it, especially when you play it back at a time like this, you listen to it, you was like, dang, this album needed a lot of work. Like, this was a rusty album. But, he fixed it with the next album, Dear Santa. Okay? Dear Santa improved on some of the songs but it did like he didn't remake all the songs he just improved on some of the songs and was like okay here you go um so with that being said somebody's christmas is, is a banger because um nice and naughty he did not change it which i'm glad he didn't ethel's christmas he did change it but he changed the name on the other one which was still the same one that one was um um christmas in heaven and then, like, um, what other song didn't he change? Wait, I got a phone. What other song didn't he change? It's another song he did not change. Y'all, I got a whole Tajik playlist, okay? Full of every single song he ever did with anybody. Like, all of it ain't on Apple Music. That's all I got to say. Because <laughs> Apple Music, no, seriously, hold on, wait. Apple Music is trash. For not putting doggone, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know the chicken song. Y'all know the chicken song. Tallest, do y'all know the chicken song? Because that chicken song, how do you want it? I want it fried. Oh, that's my song. Ain't that my song? I love that song. But anyway, so somebody's Christmas. And, uh, you know, he didn't redo uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. He didn't redo 
um, Baby It's Warm Inside, and he didn't redo the Christmas song, and Meet Me at the Mistletoe, and that's it. I think he redid everything else. And this, no, one of the songs, wait. Yeah, it's two different ones. So on, on, um, on Somebody's Christmas, This Christmas is a way different song than the This Christmas on Dear Santa. Okay, when I first heard Dear Santa, I thought they were the same songs, but they're definitely not. It's two different, two different, two different things going on. So then the Just Love single, that's not an album, but it was just came out by itself. So yes, yeah, Just Love, that's actually a gospel song, and I want to sing that at church. I've been wanting to sing that at church since it came out, but I don't know about that. But anyway, Splits on Trees, that's a single, but still, you know, still, um. Cell Block Django, the Django, Django uh, I said Django, Django. Cell Block Django, that was a single, but still. Popstar High album. Now, that was a whole bunch of people collabing with him. Y'all ever watched Popstar High series, little thing that he had going on? Yes. Um, Todrick, you know, the self titled album from MTV's Todrick. So it's not really a self titled album, it says MTV's Todrick. But the, all the music from there and the commentary. So, yes, Defying Gravity, that was a single. Straight Out of Oz, of course. If y'all don't know Straight Out of Oz, what a, come on. I at least expect you to know Straight Out of Oz. Come on. Um, Forbidden, of course. That literally just came out yeah, last year. Warning. Even though a lot happened after that song came out. But the song is still a bop. House Party 1, House Party 2. See, I hate my phone, y'all. I, I honestly hate my phone. Y'all, look at this. Y'all see this? Y'all see that House Party 3 right there? So I click it thinking the music is up there. And why did they even show it to me? Like, that's disrespectful. I feel like that's so disrespectful. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wizard of Oz. Um, I didn't forget that actually. And hold on, we're going home. The cover with Chester and all that. So yes, y'all. I had to do Tyler by itself. I done took up like seven of y'all minutes, but it's okay. Cause y'all gotta know, I'm I'm a huge fan of Tyler. Okay, his music helps me. It helped me through a lot. It, the Relove, I didn't notice it at first. When I first listened to Relove, I was like, okay, this is cute. I like it, of course. But when I actually listened to it and let it marinate in my head, I was like, I relate. I said, I relate! And it wasn't the re being in love part. It was um the um the breakdown of the song. You know, every song has a little breakdown. I call it the breakdown part. It's probably not really called that. But... It was like, um, I build and I build and wait, I on the outside, I build an unbreakable wall. You know, he was like, I thought my heart was unbreakable, but it shattered to pieces. And on the outside, I built an unbreakable wall inside. I'm screaming, I was like, God dang, I said, like, Oh my god, oh. It hit, it hit home. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, Tyler, so you coming for my neck. You coming for me. You're coming for my brand. Okay. Okay. I had to accept. I just had to. So, um, yeah. I relate to Tyler a lot. Like, the stuff he did. No, never mind. <laughs> We're not going to go to that. That's a podcast conversation. Y'all can check out my podcast. Link in the bio down below. So I can't go on that conversation up here, but I got y'all on the podcast. I got y'all. Okay, so next, Madhouse on Waterman on Dread, the baddest being in the game was Gucci. So, y'all already know, I had to put Madhouse up here. Mad, I mean, Madhouse was the intro. I think it's time for me to dig up your grave. Hi, am I up in my face and did you spit on my brain? I had to ran up in my, in my bed giving me brain. I cute like eyes on my, what I call that, cocaine. <laughs> I don't give a I'm about to yeah! Yes! Oh, I stopped. I almost hit my head. But y'all, oh my god. Madhouse was amazing. Trey did it. And then the last song, Kiss Me Goodbye, that was so sad. Kiss Me Goodbye and Don't Want It Anymore. Loco. Loco what that Loco Lo uh, no, that Loco wasn't just the name of the song, was it? I don't know. But um y'all, Kiss Me Goodbye was so sad. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh! And then Trey came up there. He's like, 
Mama said the bitch you to hurt you. Mama said good. Take time. Mama said a lot of but mama never said that he would hurt you to lead you in the wrong them will lead you in the search you. I never asked for another love. And like, yo, yo, yo. I was like, dang, Trey, like, oh, I love it. But we all knew if you actually were a fan. Like, doing this is the commentary when he kept changing his dog on intro like 1,500 million times. It was probably only five times that he changed it while his name was this is the commentary. And he literally just changed it not too long ago. So, yeah. But, um, you'll remember him actually singing like, like the skit when he was like, Black Dads be like, or Hispanic Moms. Well, not, not Hispanic Moms. What he say? He said, um, Chinese moms, or something like that. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Black moms be like, black dads be like, you know, white moms be like, white dads be like, you like that stuff. That was like years ago. And him singing in the shower, I knew he could sing then. When I heard him in the shower, I was like, oh yeah, he can sing. If he really, like, if he really wanted to sing, oh, he would be singing. <laughs> like, hitting them notes. Like, and then, brings me back to Pluto. Because y'all got to listen. When y'all listen to that song, Baptism. Um, yes, yeah, Baptism. When he's like, hallelujah. Y'all, after the woman start, stop talking about Scorpio, he said, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my God. What he went? Y'all, wait. No, 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 no. You got to listen. You got to listen to it. Wait, wait. No. Y'all, I'm sorry. This is already 26 minutes. I'm so sorry. But y'all, y'all gotta listen. Y'all gotta listen to what I'm telling you. Wait, let me scroll. Let me go to the back. Let me go to the bottom. The of Scorpio. Listen, listen. always be at the top for me like that album will always Pluto will always be at the top and I feel like people are sleeping on baptism and mother because first off mother is amazing I think mother's trying to kill me mother wants me dead what now my album, my album is good too my album is amazing every single song on the album is amazing even the little um interlude on um, Metaroid that's amazing Numb is amazing Deadpool is amazing y'all so y'all got me talking about my favorite albums of the dog of the decade. That one album though. Like <laughs> Trey, this way, I wish we could just have like let Trey, come do a podcast episode with me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta talk about you. We got to. We got to. Like we we got to. I wish you'll just come do a podcast with me. Okay? Or a YouTube video. It don't matter. They ain't gotta see our face. I'ma see your face regardless. Trey, we gotta meet up. We we just Trey, we we into well friends, but we gotta be like real life friends. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, y'all just don't understand how powerful that album is. Okay, that album is powerful. And then, like, oh my god, y'all, Pluto is the sh Pluto. That's that's it. I gotta stop talking about it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I gotta stop talking about it. I gotta, I gotta walk away because I'm supposed to be talking about Madhouse, which Madhouse is amazing. I already told y'all, Madhouse is amazing, but. Pluto, oh my god, this is what we've been waiting for, especially the people who've been there since day one with the stereotypic, when he was talking about stereotypes and stuff, like, we been waiting for him to drop music, and say he dropped out where we're on Drea, and we loved it, we appreciated it, and then he did, um, I, and I'm telling you, I'm not texting you first. We definitely appreciate it. Because when you got to I'm not texting, not texting. Like, we got to cut you all like, yes! Like, we've been waiting. And we finally got it. And I can't stop talking about it because, oh, my God. Let me move on. 
Okay, next. Control by SZA. That whole album was smashed. That that whole album. Doves in the Wind is my favorite song from the album. I no could say it like that with Garden. That um that was okay. I don't have one because Supermodel. I don't have a favorite. I, it's hard for me to choose favorites. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell that by now. Oh my gosh, 30 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So, Redemption, J Rock, definitely. Okay, SZA was on the album too, the song Redemption. Y'all should actually check that album out. I check all the albums out. When we all fall asleep, Billy Gallus, where do we go? Yes, okay. That is amazing. Yes, that album, yes, 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 okay. Yes, don't look at me. I think that's the name of the album. Is that the name of the album? With Copycat and Ocean Eyes and all that. Is that the name of the album? I think that's the name of the album. I keep saying that, but I really don't. So, yes, that album was amazing, okay? Um, I gotta hurry this up. Invasion of Privacy. Um, The Bigger Artist. Chap Soul. Cry Pretty. Cry Pretty. That's Carrie Underwood right there, okay? Yeah. Color Book, of course. And Acid and Rap, of course. Um, Sticks and Stones. Fame. X, DS2, um, Royalty, Honestly, Dan and Shay, Self-Titled Album, Father of a Shot, Yay, Kanye West, that's my favorite album by him, ever, Life of Pueblo and all those albums, yes, they were amazing, Yay, that's my favorite album, I don't know why, that's my favorite, Dua Lipa, Self-Titled, LMA, self-titled. The Marshall Mothers LP2, I'm a big fan of Eminem, so all his albums really, but I'm talking about in this decade. Recovery, Revival, Making Mirrors, Her, I Used to Know Her, Solar, that's an Aya Lamise, y'all need to check that out, just came out, that whole album is lit, Ego Death, 90059, J-Rock, Love Me Back, Sell Out, 508-507-2209, Jordan Lucas, y'all need to check that out, Teenage Dream, Katy Perry, Esla, that's, Ke that's Kevin Gates, but I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Carter Five, the Carter Four, y'all already know that's uh, Lil Wayne. Coconut Oil, cause I love you, Lizzo, of course. Um, the Heist, Caution. Um, the Heist is Michael Moore. Caution, Heart on My Sleeve. Heart on My Sleeve is Amy Lambert, I believe that's her name. Um, some of these I can't remember. The Heist is Michael Moore, though. I can't remember who Caution is. Um, No Label Two, that's me, Ghost. Fever, Megan Thee Stallion, Illuminate, Shawn Mendes, The Pink Print, Nicki Minaj, um, Father of Four, that's um, Offset, In the Heights, now these are the Broadway, okay, we, we in Broadway now, okay, In the Heights, Lynn manuel the soundtrack for the Broadway musical In the Heights, in the heights, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, I got too much energy. But in the heights, yes, yes, this was amazing. In the heights will always be amazing. The but um, dear Evan, dear Evan, um, Hansen, Wicked, Pentatonic self titled album, Queen Niger self titled album, Swim Life from Swim Review. I don't know how to say that name. Um, The Thrill of It All in the Lonely Hour. Tim Smith. Thanks for the chapstick. Queen of the Clouds. Blue Lips. My dear Mella Connie. Connie? I don't know how to say that. And Sleepwalking by Young and May. Gotta end it off with a bang. Y'all, those were my favorite albums. Some of them I didn't say who they were by because I forgot, honestly. But I know I like the album. And <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out the links down below because there are some good things. And my podcast link down below. And my social medias. And the link to this um YouTube channel. Is that where? Yeah, this is my YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube channel, y'all. It's hot. I'm about to go edit this and upload it because I got a lot to do today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> This is...